This might just be one of the worst mothers ever known in British history. She took the life of her very young daughter and we'll also see her confession across TikTok as well. Let's dive into this case and get into as much detail. Warning, this could get disturbing. A mother of three who killed her three-year-old daughter because she was getting in the way of her sex life posted a sick TikTok video saying I messed up bad a month after her child's passing. Nicola Priest, 23, has been jailed for 15 years for manslaughter last week after her daughter, Kaylee Jade, was found dead with chest and abdominal injuries at the flat where she lived in Birmingham, August the 9th last year. Priest's boyfriend, Callum, 22, was jailed for 14 years for manslaughter with the couple killing Kaylee after she interrupted them while they had intercourse. The young girl, Kaylee Jade's final moments are caught on CCTV. Hours later, she's beaten to death. Her mum gets in the elevator and is checking herself out. She clearly doesn't care about her daughter. The mum, Nicola Priest, ignores her daughter and she checks herself in the mirror. As shown by the CCTV, you can see the young girl trying to get her mother's attention with literally nothing coming back. It's a saddening snapshot into the poor Kelly Jade's young life. And you can just tell by the CCTV that the only thing this woman's interested in is herself. They leave their Kinghurst flat on the 8th of August 2020 and head to a local park. Captured on CCTV cameras, they leave the door and it also follows them out through another CCTV camera angle. Even their three-year-old has undiagnosed fractures from previous assaults at this point. But because she done it and her being a bad mother, Priest never sought medical help to treat her daughter's serious injuries even at this point here. But later, things would get a lot, lot worse. After an hour's play, the toddler returns home later that evening. Her boyfriend goes to the flat. When he arrives at the flat with the mother and the daughter there, they've been neglecting her for a while already. The next morning, Kaylee Jane is found dead in her bed, having been violently attacked. First of all, rest in peace this young girl who lost her life too soon. Medical experts say she was likely punched, kicked or even stamped on multiple times. And one thing that was clear, it was proved that Priest and her boyfriend were both in the flat when the young girl was attacked. So they were obvious suspects straight away. At Fezzafile put up the confession video of her miming lyrics, pretty much admitting she had done wrong. It said the mum posted a sick TikTok video after the killing of her daughter in which she mouthed to the lyrics apologising for having messed up bad. Nicola Priest uploaded a series of twisted tribute clips just weeks after Kaylee J. Priest, free, her daughter was found dead in her flat last year. The 23-year-old is seen in a tearful one which she went live only 30 days later and mouths along to music, mourning her daughter. She did ring 999, but the jury convicted Priest after hearing the young star, her daughter, had been dead before the call was even made. So they was even trying to cover it up, but still got caught out thanks to medical examinations. The young star was described in court as a lively and happy child. So young, just free, it was evil what they did, and it was said that she died from serious chest and abdominal injuries inflicted at her flat. Medical examinations later showed a history of abuse. It said that the young girl had also suffered historical injuries, including broken ribs, lower leg fractures, and other broken body parts. Her mother, who had no previous convictions, and whom experts found a very low level of intelligence, was also found guilty of cruelty to child relating to the youngster's previous injuries. But her boyfriend, who was also involved in this incident, was cleared of that charge. But in a text message exchange on July 24th, 2020, days before the young girl's death, Priest told her boyfriend, I'm going to kill her because she keeps leaving the living room or I'm going into the kitchen. So I've hit her once and smacked her for shitting in her nappy. And her boyfriend said, good, give her one from me. And she replied, I will, babe, which is just sick. Their little sick relationship didn't last long because upon getting arrested, they actually switched up on each other. The boyfriend said that the mother from Birmingham was an evil mother who did not deserve kids. He claimed she once told Kaylee, you can just stay in it after she soiled her nappy while her mum was outside smoking. Kaylee was found dead at her flat where she lived with her mum on August 9th last year. Days after Priest sent a text message threatening to take the kid's life. Experts likened her wounds to those of a child hit by a car at 40 miles per hour or from falling from three floors onto a concrete floor. 
The judge had said after jail and the pair, Kaylee was put to bed sometime around 7pm while you two went off to have intercourse in Nicola Priest's bedroom, which is the mother. But like many children her age, Kaylee did not want to go to bed but stay up and play. He said there was no direct evidence as to what happened next, but Kaylee vomited repeatedly, later dying of her injuries overnight. The judge said the vomiting was a result of a severe beating. You were both responsible for inflicting on her. No doubt. Irritated by Kaylee crying, asking to be let out, it interrupted the two of you when you wanted to have intercourse. You lost your tempers and were parties in an assault to which cost Kaylee her life. A prompt call for medical assistance by one or the other of you could have saved the young girl Kaylee's life. The judge also told the boy, you and Nicola Priest shared an uncaring and cruel attitude towards Kaylee. In his police interview, he asked how Kaylee's death had affected him. He replied, it's not my child, it's not really affected me. This story is even affecting me and I've never met a young girl. It's just caring for a young girl that lost her life. And this guy was dating her mother and said it didn't even affect him. That just goes to show how sick these people was. They should never have even been around a child. There's people trying for kids that can't have them. And you got sick, sick people like this who try to discipline a three-year-old child by beating them repeatedly around numerous kids. This world is crazy. It's just a horrible story because not just her passing, but she was subject to a lot of abuse. On one occasion, neighbours in a flat below recalled hearing a bang above and then Kaylee J crying before allegedly hearing Priest say, I'll just say she fell out of the bed. At the trial, Priest, the mother and the boyfriend, who the judge said was a dominant partner in the relationship, blamed each other. West Midlands police said it was unclear who delivered the fatal blows or whether they both played a part. Senior investigator officer said from the forces homicide unit believed the level of discipline she was subject to became increasingly forceful and violent during priest and her boyfriend's relationship. So quite possibly he was encouraging her to be more forceful with the child and they both played a part in this. Nicola Priest, 23, was sentenced to 15 years over the death of her daughter and her boyfriend was also sentenced 22 to 14 years and he were found guilty of manslaughter. This young innocent girl passed away. They were responsible for taking their life. I think they should have got an M charge for that. Maybe they're trying to say they didn't mean to take her life, just discipline her. But obviously using that much force, they had bad intentions. That's it for this video guys, rest in peace to this young girl, a very very tragic story. For all the latest crime and rap stories out of the UK, subscribe to the channel with that notification bell. I'll see you all in my next video, peace out.